Hello, my name is Rafnum, and welcome back to Random Randomness. I am here once again with Galaxy, who still doesn't want to be on camera. I don't know when or if she will ever want to be on camera again. She's become very bashful and very shy over the past few weeks. And the last time we recorded together, I think was the last time she was on camera, and she just doesn't want to anymore. Which is cool. Which is cool. Is that the first thing that popped in my head was the string that the tiny little girl had on her hand? The fates? Yes, the fates! Cutting your lifeline? Yes! Yes, yes, Let's try the intro one more time. Hi, my name is Rothum. I am joined by Galaxy once again. Uh, she still is not ready to be on camera. Um, hopefully, eventually, she'll get back to wanting to be on camera. But for now, she will be not be on camera. Um, we are back once again for Random Randomness. And we are going to do another quiz today. And today, our quiz is going to be... Everyone has a makeup palette that matches their personality. What's yours? Uh, and as usual, we have two different windows open. Um, you can tell we have two different, two different windows open by... Hold on here. First off, how would you describe yourself? Wait a second, what the... Oh. Ah, it's a different... Why did... What? That's weird. Uh, okay, there we go. Now, now we're in the right spot. Okay. All right, so everyone has a makeup palette that matches their personality. What's yours? What quality makeup? What qualities make up your makeup? Question number one. First off, how would you describe yourself? Creative, outdoorsy, energizing, articulate, adventurous, or confident? What's articulate? You're not articulate. Okay. Meaning you you you're very good with words. Watching a TV show like 30 minutes ago? Uh, uh yeah, I'm not articulate. <laughs> the reason why I say you're not articulate is because you also have a hard time enunciating your words. So you have a hard time getting out what you're trying to say. Um I I would be creative. I was gonna say I would choose of these I would choose creative as um, as for moi, creative, outdoorsy, energizing, articulate, adventurous, or confident. I would say articulate for me, out of all of these. I don't have a lot of energy. I seem like I have a lot of energy, but... But you don't... You have a set of... a lot. A lot. But I also have a large vocabulary and... and I am a child! I had a large vocabulary at your age, too. I'm a child who went to a bad school. That got almost straight A's. Yeah, because... Oh. <laughs> it was never really good in one. And I I have tried my hardest to get you to say, use words correctly, spell them correctly, and just use the right words, period. And I'm a writer. How did this happen? Because I proofread your writings for you, and then then fix the errors. <laughs> um. Okay. So, if I'm not articulate because I have a stutter, then I guess I would have to be. You would be confident. Confident. Okay. How would your best friends describe? Uh, calm, understanding, intuitive, hardworking, empathetic, or passionate? Empathetic. Em em empathetic? Yes, empathetic. Um, for me, I would say calm, understanding, intuitive, hardworking, empathetic, or passionate. I would say probably passionate because I get very emotional about things that I am passionate about. Which you get very emotional, very 
yeah, I'm I'm an emotional I'm a, I, I'm an emotionally driven creature. Which image speaks to you the most? Yeah. Sunset. I can't click on that part. I gotta go over here. All right. Uh, I would say the moon for me. That moon. The reason the sunset speaks to me is it shows the sun is setting and it means your days. What's something about you that you think most people overlook? Your sensitivity, your work ethic, how deeply you love by your optimism, creativity, or spirituality? Spirituality. Um, I think uh, I think my sensitivity. I don't think people realize how sensitive I am, mostly because I do a pretty good job of putting on the goofy face public um, but like I said I, I wear my emotions on my face. Uh, I'm a very emotional I'm honestly not as emotional as I used to be I don't show my emotions as much as I do it's easier to hide from What do you feel is your biggest shortcoming? You get jealous, grudges, you hold grudges. You're very quiet, have a temper, too hard on yourself. Too what sensitive. is the last word you have? Shortcoming? Yeah. Flaw. What's your biggest flaw? You get jealous, hold grudges, very quiet, you have a temper, too hard on yourself. Quiet. For me, this one's kind of a toss up between the, the bottom three. I have a temper, hard on, I'm very hard on myself, and I'm also very sensitive. Um, like I said in the last one. But I, can, but I can get my temper under control in an instant. A lot of. And you yeah, get upset very often, but you guys don't think that you're upset. You here's here's the thing. You think people are angry when they're not. Grandma agrees. With you. Grandma Grandma agrees with you in the case in the case of me and Grandpa, but you think that Grandma's mad at you a lot. She is not mad at you at all. Ah. Yeah, but that's that's what I'm saying. I still think your temper is. But I don't get mad that often. I I get mad, but I don't get mad that often. Whereas I'm very hard on myself all the time, and I'm extremely sensitive, which leads to me getting angry. Because I deal with my sensitivity by getting angry. I deal with my emotions because when I sleep, I don't have to deal with anyone. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go with my temper. My sensitivity leads to my temper, and that I, I, there are certain people in my life that make me angry very easily. Pick an aura. I would say. Huh? For me, I'm going to go with the blue one. What quality do you find most attractive in other people? <laughs> I 
They don't mean what quality uh, makes you most sexually attracted to somebody, to other people. Just what quality do you like about other people? Their intelligence, passion, humor, creativity, boldness, or empathy. Empathy is a big thing. Um, for me, uh, humor. It would, it would be humor for me. Which would be most ideal? Hanging out and talking to your best friends, going to a pool party, going for a hike, going on a non-traditional date, going out dancing, Staying in and making art. Staying in and making art. <laughs> um. Because that's literally what I do. Hanging out and talking to your best friends, I think, is what it would be for me. Alright. Next one. Which crystal are you most drawn to? One on the bottom. This one? This one here. Okay. As for me, I like this one right here. What's your favorite thing about yourself? My ability to self self soothe, my empathy for others, my wit, my open mindedness, my imagination, or my work ethic. Um, I'd say my open mindedness. Oh. What's your favorite school subject? Art, English, math, biology, psychology, or gym? Really? There is no history on there. Nope. Art. I figured you would have chose art no matter what. Is my all time favorite subject. All right, as for me, it's gonna be math. I like numbers. And lastly, what do you hope people remember about you? Your kind heart, creativity, loyalty, love for life, strength, passion for the things you love. I'm gonna go with my creativity. Okay. As for me, um, I don't know. This one's hard. I'm going to go with passion for the things I love. All right. Starting with galaxies. You got the third eye blinking palette. From left to right, your palette is made up of swatches of the swatches soft spoken, open sky, open mind, calm, cool, and creative. Violet vengeance, away with words, and third eye blinking, soft spoken. While you may not be especially loud vocally, the things you say carry a weight that not many others words do you only say what you mean and when you really do mean what you say and you really do mean what you say you only say what you mean and you really do mean what you say open sky open mind you've always been inspiringly open minded but you feel as though your thoughts expand even further whenever you are out in nature Something about the purity and vastness of the outdoors calls to you on a very personal level. Calm, cool, and creative. You feel most at peace when you are creating something new, and figuratively or literally, getting your hands dirty. You are captivated by the arts. Violet vengeance. You've been known to hold a grudge and have a hard time letting go of things from your past. 
While it can be hard, sometimes you have to let go of things simply because they are too heavy. I... Away with words. You were born with a gift for communication. Maybe you express this gift through your art, or maybe you just have a way of talking to people that helps them understand. How you choose to use this gift is entirely up to you. Third eye blinking. You are highly spiritual and often have strong premonitions. Some may have called you an old soul because of how mysteriously all-knowing you are. Uh, why is that so accurate? Why am I scared? It, it's actually very accurate for very you. Very accurate. Now let's find out how accurate it is for moi. You got the summer soul palette. From left to right, your palette is made up of swatches, warm-blooded lover, summer soul, soft and sweet, sometimes it rains, night owl, and big ol' optimist. Just based on these descriptions, <laughs> it sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> warm-blooded lover, you love passionately and deeply, true, and once you love someone, you are absolutely loyal, true. You regard love and affection so highly that you simply expect the same from others, which can often lead to disappointment. True! What the hell? However, the loss has never deterred you from loving again. Summer Soul. You feel most at peace during the summer months when you can be out swimming, hiking, and hanging out, and hanging with friends. You're, an, you're a naturally social person and make friends easily. That is mostly true. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I love swimming. I I feel more energized going out swimming, hiking, and definitely hanging out with my friends. But I prefer to hang out with my friends. I don't want to do this stuff on my own. That's why everyone's like, oh, you never go out. You never go out because none of my friends are around for me to go out with. Soft and sweet. You are very... You are very gentle and understanding when it comes to other people. Your friends feel at ease when they're with you, and honestly, a bit invincible. If only you can learn to be as kind to yourself. I'm hating this thing right now. <laughs> it's freaky weird. It's freaky accurate. <laughs> Sometimes it rains. Being such a caring and accommodating person can have its burdens, and sometimes... The world and all its problems can weigh you down. It's okay to hurt sometimes, and it's okay to admit it. No, it's not. It... <laughs> what? This is freaky accurate. It is. Yeah. It is. It's weird. Night Owl, you like to stay up late. What? No. no. When was the last time you went to bed at an accurate time? Accurate not time? Accurate time. Accu an accurate time. I go to bed at 2.30, 3.30, 30, 30 in the morning all the time. That's an accurate time. I go to bed at... Uh, uh, uh. What time did, when was the last time I went to bed at a decent time? Yes! <laughs> well, for me, 4.30 in the morning is a decent time. And then no. I go to noon and then do it all over again. No! Not what I mean! I'm like 9 or 10. 9. Not 9. You mean like 10, 10, 30, 11, 11, 30, maybe midnight? And actually, not a few days ago. It wasn't long ago. Like, but you your are... graduate, I think your graduation was Thursday. I went to bed at like midnight. Maybe maybe 12, 30 at the latest. But usually, no, it's usually 2, 30, 3, 30, 4, 30. If I sleep at all. I am... I will be absolutely dead on my feet exhausted by 8.30, but it's way too early for me to go to sleep because I will go to sleep at 8.30 and then I'll wake up at midnight and I'll be fully energized and I won't be able to sleep until like 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning and then I'm just not getting enough sleep. So I have to power through like an hour of being absolutely exhausted and then my second wind hits and it hits like an anvil. I'm up. I am awake. I can't just go into the bedroom and be like, okay, 
it's it's midnight now i'm gonna lay down and go to sleep no if i do that i end up laying there with my phone for like four hours playing a game or watching youtube videos or she'll send me a tiktok video which will send me spiraling down the tiktok hole that's how you are with me i am tired all the time like all the time yeah you're tired all the time i'm never tired the reason I'm tired all the time is because I sleep to do with my problems, and that doesn't help anything. It just makes me more tired. Yeah. <laughs> all right, anyways, so Night Owl, you like to stay up late. That's not understatement. Whether that's talking to your friends, uh-huh, going out to, to a party, mm, yeah, I don't need, uh, I don't, I don't party, or just staying in and chilling. <laughs> you have always had a strong connection to the nighttime. There's a reason why I kind of had insomnia in high school. Big ol' optimist. No matter what has gone wrong in your life, you have always been able to find the silver lining. You have always been able to pick yourself up and try again, and while helping others do the same. This, my friend, is a true gift. <laughs> it's creepy how accurate these are. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I have a lot of, or I had a lot of friends that would come to me when they had problems in their lives and they would talk to me and I would help them through the problems in their lives and stuff like that. And they would never know that I was going through hell. Um, I actually had a friend who didn't realize how bad I was, I was doing when my uncle passed away. Um, they thought that no, I, I, I called them because I need I needed somebody and they thought that I was gonna be okay until morning they had just gotten home and were just settling down for bed and I needed somebody and they they went to bed thinking that I would be okay after talking to me for about two minutes and I spent the next four hours opening and closing my pocket knife, sitting there um, freaking out because my uncle was the one guy that I really considered to be my dad because my dad passed away when I was very, very young. Um, I was three when he passed away and my uncle was what I had. Uh, my uncle had, I had have the most memories as far as a male father figure um, my uncle and my grandfather were the two people that I had. My grandfather died when I was 20. And so that just left my uncle as being the other guy that I that I perceived as being a father figure to me. Even though um, once we moved up to where we live now, um, we kind of lost contact with him. I still considered him to be that father figure to me for my entire life. And, and my entire life has been kind of molded after him and unbeknownst to me, also molded after my dad because apparently the two of them were so much alike that by just what I learned from him for the for the five years that he was part of, he was a big part of my life. Um, and taking that and going, well, what would he do in this situation? What would he do in this situation? Um, and it, it was one of those underlying mental things where you don't even think about it. You just, it was just something instinctual where, oh, he would have done this. He would have done this. Um, and I lived my life that way and found out that I was doing things more like my dad would have done them than, than my uncle. But I kind of learned how my dad would have done things through my uncle because he was very similar to my dad. And then with the help of my mom, I learned a little more about how my dad did things. And so I got this underlying thing where my uncle started instilling the values in me and then my mom finished it off, having having the father figure and then having my mom. Um, and uh, another parent. Um, I had, I had other people that tried to step in, but they only stepped in when it, when they felt like it was needed. Um, yeah, 
never felt like I've had a family. Because everyone that tried to be that for me. We do. We all do. And, uh, yeah, we do. But, um, yeah, this, this, this quiz is bizarrely accurate with just answering a few questions. And, and, uh, so, like, if you do these quizzes and you want an honest, uh, answer and you want, and, and the person that makes the quiz is trying to be real and, and honest about the stuff and not trying to lead you into a, the hole that they want to put you in. Um, just be honest with the answers. Answer answer things truthfully. Answer things the way that um, you know you actually would. Don't answer things the way that you think you should. Answer truthfully and honestly and really think about the answers before you select your answers. And you'll get a more accurate look at yourself um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching we hope you liked it if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe and ring that bell when you ring that bell you'll get notifications for every time i post new videos which i do daily we will see you next time until then this is rothenum and galaxy signing off bye bye bye, -bye.